you very much to all our new followers and to those from forever for supporting this channel. Your subscription helps us grow and improve the quality of our content. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to click the like button and activate the notification bell to stay updated with the latest news from the channel. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Here I am at last with the album finished. It is wired and illuminated. Well, so that I can flatten and close the two discs so they close more or less properly because before there was no way to close it because there was too much. Cable. Well, I've created a metal disc where the positives come out and another metal disc on that side of the previous one where the negatives come out. And so there I can connect in parallel. This is a way to flatten out all the wiring a bit. It could have been done better, yes. But this is the first model of the Enterprise at this scale that I've made. And you have to improvise a little. Things I like. The combination of lights. Yellow, orange, and blue. Because it gives the Enterprise's windows a really, really interesting look. Alright. It really looks like there are rooms both on the top and bottom parts. So here, we get this effect that I think is awesome by combining blue and yellow lights. Although here there are some that I don't know why they aren't turning on. Let's see. The connections are a bit sketchy, okay? So let's see if we can get, well, everything to work. Once we close it, it's going to stay closed for good because this whole part here, when it fits together up here, well, it needs to be sanded. Filled in and repainted a bit, and then finally, apply varnish. Why? So that the light doesn't leak out through the gaps. So now, what I'm going to do is just close it up, and then we'll sand and fill the edge. I've seen asteroids with better wiring. There isn't a ridge between one disc and the other. It's continuous. I didn't know Meltdown Chic was a design aesthetic. So, when I close this, a panel does form here, and light comes out through the little gap. So we'll have to fix that. Let's do it. So here is the disc being glued. Here we can see, let's see if I can, here, that line. This, this is what needs to be removed, and for that we're going to have to use putty. We're going to have to sand it, and then we'll have to repaint. I also took the opportunity to make this small hole here. And another one over there too. These would also be for lighting, though they're not that important. But, well, you can see them a little bit. It's also worth mentioning the putty work. The putty work on this part and this one. On the original model, this part has a slight rust color. And well, that's been removed. So those greenish tones. I've read the comments from many followers, and there are real issues with the paint, because it's not, it's not clear, no, apparently, well, according to the Smithsonian model, there should be some green streaks here. But of course, this was done so it would look better on screen. No, not for the model. I think the original color was a navel gray, something like that. You know. Very subtle. You should be able to see the panels, but very subtly. They shouldn't stand out too much, and you have to sand a lot. So, this is the look I think it should have. The Enterprise at this size, at this scale. Underneath, well, we also have some lighting that apparently... Well, it gives us the feeling that there are windows, well, that there are windows, that there are rooms inside the saucer, right? And on the sides, too, here. We have different types of lighting, and the fact that we've combined different LEDs gives us this sense that, well, there really is or could be an interior. When building a model like this, we shouldn't all use the same LEDs, because then the lighting is too homogeneous, and it's going to lose a bit of interest. I'm going to lower the light to see how it looks with a little less illumination. Well, the little windows on the Enterprise. Let's do it. Here it is. So, we can see how the lights change in intensity because of the internal LEDs. Here they are. 
they're all going to be different and they're going to create these effects which are super 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 interesting that is combining LEDs of different colors so they have different intensities depending on where you're looking from and this is obviously going to give well a finish in terms of lighting much more interesting even compared to some of the kits sold for similar models here well I'm happy what I still need to do is this like I said sand fill sand and then paint again because I want the edge to be seamless I don't want this line and that way we also seal this part here so the red doesn't show what will we use well putty probably Tamiya putty too cover this part of the disc awesome I'm super happy because honestly the lighting effects even though it's not a kit and I had to improvise give the saucer a really 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 interesting look this final finish the filling this part I'm going to leave that for the next video for the next modeling session because I want the glue to set properly so I can fill and sand without any problem or worry and then go back to painting and varnishing anyway thank you so much for watching the video thank you so much for the comments they're all super interesting and welcome to all the new followers of the channel lights installed perfectly i almost mistook it for a real shuttle